Okay, we're at 53, uh, 5326 Hermosa Avenue in the city of Glendale? Eagle Rock. Eagle Rock. Um, we're here to inspect the main sewer line. We can't check every pipe in the house. You have your general inspector go underneath the house, check as much as he can physically with his eyes. From what I see underneath the house, the plumbing's done not correctly. There's uh, illegal fittings. Things don't look like they're vented correctly. Um, the pipe is not sloped correctly. So the plumbing underneath the house is in very poor condition. Nevertheless, uh, we're all the way out to the city connection and we're running the camera from a clean out that's underneath the house. Now, right up ahead is the city connection. This is a six inch clay pipe, which this looks like it's in pretty good condition. You're gonna have some very minor roots. Now, what we look for is major breaks, major holes. You see, those are very minor roots, not a big deal. The six inch clay pipe, basically from uh, the property line to the middle of the street looks like it's in pretty good condition and that's a good thing because it's very expensive to replace that pipe mm -hmm. okay stop here now we're transitioning from a six inch clay pipe to a cast iron pipe now this cast iron pipes very bad okay. like i said probably one of the worst ones i've seen heavy rust buildup you see and the thing is look at that look at that buildup i mean Anything you flush, it might get stuck in there because it's it's not going to flow correctly through. Now, this is seven feet deep at the property line. It runs down the driveway underneath the concrete uh, driveway. You can see very old cast iron pipe. Looks like you're doing a colonoscopy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. You can see the cast iron pipes yeah. pretty much at the end of its life. Now, cast iron has a life expectancy of 60 to 120 years. But um, what year is the house? 1960s? 1912. 1912? Yes. Okay, so you see you're over 100 years. <laughs> so it's pretty much done. It needs to be re Yeah. Now... If you wanted to keep this pipe as is, which I don't recommend, you can always put a clean out outside. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if you ever block up, you can run a snake, try to clear the line. Mm -hmm. But I'm afraid if you keep this pipe, you're going to have blockages a lot. Okay. And I don't want you calling a plumber every time to come clear the pipe. You can okay. see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're right now we're right where these red steps are we're underneath the steps okay. two and a half feet deep now we're going to a plastic pipe this is a polyethylene pipe so they did replace some of the piping mm, okay. now this is all in good condition you can see this is nice and clean you can see how the pipe bends around yeah, so they, yeah. they did a part this is like from here to the it's from the outside to that to that re to the steps here yeah from here to the yeah, that has to be yes, yeah, replaced. Yeah. So this is all good. So the short section of ABS plastic pipe can look good. Now underneath the house, like I said, the plumbing is not done correctly. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stop the recording here.